The military, trained to respond to chemical warfare, deployed to remove items potentially exposed to a dangerous nerve agent, like a police car used to respond to the attack on Sunday. And without explanation, crews even scoured the graveyard where Sergei Skripal's wife and son were both buried in recent years. The risk, very real, judging by what they wore. Yet Britain's Home Secretary was keen to show there's no danger to the public, visiting Salisbury herself today. In terms of further options, that will have to wait until we're absolutely clear what the consequences could be and what the actual uh, source of this nerve agent has been. Authorities aren't naming the chemical used, but just its presence shortens the list of potential culprits. It needs a very sophisticated laboratory highly trained and experienced scientists that only really we find in sort of state-run institutions. Russia has been denying any involvement daily. Today, the foreign minister pushed back. They blame us not only for this, said Sergei Lavrov, but according to our Western partners, we are guilty of everything that is wrong on this planet. The UK has, in fact, not formally accused Moscow, but many have, keeping in mind recent history. Investigative journalist Heidi Blake identified 14 deaths in Britain since 2003, all potentially tied to Russians who went unpunished. The fact that they've handled this case very differently tells you that there is growing alarm at the highest levels of the British government about increasingly bold maneuvers by Russia on British soil. The brutal attack on a daughter and father has sparked an international incident. Thomas Dagler, CBC News, London.